All right, so let's get into these BIOS settings. So, so what I'm going to do, we're in we're in easy mode at the moment. So we'll, we'll flick across to advanced. Um, but a couple of things I'll just do in easy mode while we're here is we'll we'll switch off the HD audio controller. Don't need that. Also, I'm going to switch the CFM over to uh, Eufy. And I'm going to leave that AICH to AICH. So I think that's all fine. So we just do those easy ones here. Then we'll skip across to advanced. So I really do, I find MSI is one of the nicest uh, user friendly uh, BIOSes to work through. Um, whether it's the AMD's uh, B450 or the, the Intel Z series, yeah, I really like um, all the MSI BIOS. So let's go into settings uh, let's go to advanced um, PCIe subsystem settings so um, I'm gonna so what we're gonna do yeah so above 4G memory crypto mining oh yeah let's enable that one um, I think we'll do that uh, I'm gonna switch these to Gen 2 chipset gen 2 pcr lens configuration um auto fourth i think we'll stick with auto for now um if we hit, hit oh, oh yes yeah, so, so that that's the pcie one lane configuration so, so e1 is the top slot so yeah interesting i want to leave it with auto for now um, we're just going to get one card up and running. If we hit any um, walls, we'll, we can always come back here and, and tweak this to 8A or 4444. Four, four, four. Um, yeah, I'm sure that, that will be fine. We'll, we'll figure that as we go along. So let's go back. Um, AC, so power, blinking, CPU, that, that's all fine. We won't change any of those settings. Integrated peripherals. Um, so VJ card detection, we'll leave that. Um, onboard LAN controller, we'll, we'll leave that for now. Um, SATA mode, yep, and we've already disabled the HD audio controller, so, so that, they're all fine. USB, um, yeah, they're all fine, we're going to change any of that. Um, yeah, nothing to change here. Power management, the store, power. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave we'll leave these for now. Um, Windows OS. Yeah, you want to go? We we'll go Eufy, so, so that's fine. All right, that's good. So that's the main thing. So now I think that the main ones are really in this PC PCI PCI um, subsystem settings. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So what we're going to do as well is we. Um, we want to get our, our where are we? we've got USB. So you see the little U there. That means uh, that that's the UFI. Um, so what we're going to do? I want the USB to be priority when we reboot next because we're going to boot into uh, Windows um, and then we want it to be our Kingston hard drive. So USB hard drive mode where. Just be floppy. Where's our Kingston? Um, yeah, you feel hard. So that that should be the Kingston there. I don't know if we can look at this. I know when we went to uh, integrated peripherals. I know we saw somewhere we had the Kingston. Maybe if I go back to easy mode, um, I did see somewhere storage. Yeah, we had the Kingston there. So sad to put one. I just don't know why. Often you'll see um, it come up here as the um, yeah. But I think we'll, do, we'll leave it as hard disk. I think it will go and find that hard disk there when it's ready to um, blow up the window. So I think that, that that's it for now. What we'll do, we will do a reboot and we'll load it into Windows, which is it's pretty straightforward. Um, I think what we'll do next is we'll um, turn on into Windows and we'll go we'll do the Windows settings together. There, there there's kind of five or six main um, Windows settings that you want to do, like turn off Windows updates, change some of the power settings, and also up your uh, virtual memory. So 
um, yeah, so I'll, I'll do a restart, I'll, I'll get Windows um, loaded up and we'll come back and do the next stage. All right, guys, welcome back. So, we, yeah, we just literally, um, we've installed Windows and this is uh, essentially where, where we've landed. So we haven't done anything. Um, basically, it's just uh, loaded up. I think one thing I will do, I think just say here, like it's obviously compatible drivers finished installing, so there's a few drivers updating. But one thing was worth doing when you first, um, either A, first time you've loaded Windows, or B, you've, you've installed some new GPUs, hardware, software, always worth going to Task Manager. Um, I just want to good for me and just see what apps are running you know like if you've got some some drives updating or some nvidia stuff updating just let it run i think some of the temptation is um you know you want to do things um load other stuff up download things but it's always good just to let the system stabilize um particularly i find when you're adding multiple gpus um sometimes it can take a good few minutes to get that you know uh, that noise and the black screen means that the gpus um, essentially been enabled so you know a lot of people just kick off the mining and then it interrupts things because it hasn't been in installed properly so so yeah so th this all looks pretty normal now um so a couple of things i am going to do is look i think first i'm actually just going to do a restart i think this is the first time it's booted up i think it's just good to just do initial restart so i think like Personally, my tip is just do a restart, just to make sure it closes down, restarts, opens up nice and cleanly. So, you know, I, th I think, you know, doing these initial, um, you know, installs, is all about building blocks. And, you know, you wanna make sure you build the blocks with, with solid foundations, make sure everything's working before you start adding things, you know. It's not uncommon with, you know, rig builds, um, you know, you might need to reinstall Windows, you might get some errors, you just can't bypass without doing a, um, uh, I've called the rig AMD B450, um, just the uh, name of the motherboard and CPU. Um, if you've got any better names, uh, yeah, leave them in the comments, uh, we, we can rename the rig, um, something maybe a bit more exciting. So um, I'm just gonna, Uninstall these Microsoft Store things. Uh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm not going to use Cortana. Um, is it Silverlight or Cortana? Um, I'm going to download Chrome. That's what I prefer using. Um, oh shit! I've done an email on that. Oh, sorry, close. Yeah, jeepers. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, now, what I am going to do is. I'm. We are going to disable Windows um, as one of our key things we're going to do however i do normally let, like to let um check updates just one time just the initial install just want to make sure all key drivers um things are updated so whilst you see a lot of um you know tips will be to disable um, windows updates which definitely we will be doing because it just it will just crash the software now and again if it decides to do an update um is i just like to do initial updates and there's there's normally quite a few heavy updates to do um, after doing the first um, Windows install and look for me I'm happy to do that it just gets all the main drivers and things updated you can see there's a stack of stuff I rather just get this in lock it down and I know Windows is going to be pretty much up to date and um, I can turn off the updates without it annoying me too much or feeling like I'm actually missing out anything genuinely important so so a lot of updates to run here um, we'll probably just cut this out um, for a, a few minutes and come back when we've restarted All right, guys. So we've just done the uh, the big Windows one-off updates. Um, it's taken about uh, probably about twenty minutes to um, load that up. So I just restarted. Um, so, so now we've got the the main Windows update done. I don't want any more updates. So thank you very much. Um, let's go to so, so so these are basically the sort of four or five things I like to do just to make sure my machine is rig is ready for mining is go to type in services at the bottom and bring up the services here uh, scroll down to windows update if it's running just say actually what i'm going to do so just apologies i'm what i'm just going to quickly just check updates just to make sure nothing else is running actually yep so we're up today um there might be some other um i don't think 
yeah, I won't do any of those updates. So yeah, so so let's just go to services um, here. Scroll down, right down to the bottom here to Windows Update. Stop the service. So that's going to stop Windows service running. And then you want to right click, go to, or actually double click. And then just disable. So it's disabling the Windows updates, apply. Okay, cool. Um, I don't think that will take effect until we restart, but we'll do our other couple of changes first. So uh, then we'll go to my PC right click and go to properties and then go across to the right over here on the right and go to advanced system settings and then go to the performance here so go to performance settings and we want to adjust the best performance so that's going to make sure obviously things when we're mining that the the rig is just focusing on performance it's not about appearance or anything else um, so let's apply that that's good go across to advanced um, we're going to increase the virtual memory um, what you often find when you start mining um, at least on nice hash is if you don't increase this virtual memory you get an error i think it's 104 come up or 105 and it will say um, uh, you know increase your virtual memory so this is just doing it before you start so what we'll do here will Get rid of automatic. We'll do custom. So the maximum is two hundred thousand. Um, look, what I normally do always works. Always works for me. I want fifty thousand. I also do fifty thousand up to one fifty thousand. I've never had any issues with that. If anyone knows any better, um, you know, initial and maximum size to use is, or if or this is not ideal, um, yeah, please share your comments. It's always good from the community to share uh, what the optimal settings are. But look, to be honest, this works for me on, on the, the multiple rigs that I've got running. So so we've done that. We press OK. Yep, so we'll restart the computer later, so that's good. Um, and we will do apply. That's good. So we'll close this, um, and we will close that. So then we'll go to power and sleep. Um, we want to do never and never on the screen and sleep. Um, and I think there's additional power settings on the far right over here. So go across to additional power settings, and uh, so it says balance power saver. We want high performance, so let's so do that. And then I think we go to um, yeah, I think that's it then. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to get actually, I'm, I'm just going to click it. So we've got high performance. I'm just going to go in there and then just say just, again, just do the whole the never never. Um, is there any advanced thing? Oh, actually, yeah, there's one more step. So let me just go back so you can follow me. So we chose high performance in the power options. We go to change plan settings, put these to never, 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 never. Um, and then we go change advanced power settings. And there's just one, it's all, it's normally off, but just check PCIe Express to the power management is off. So, um, cool. So I think I should make sure that your PCIe starts to keep running um, if you know if there's any issues or anything. So, so that's good. So I think that's done. So let's save changes. Um, come out of that. And yeah, we, we are done. So that, that's all the changes we are going to make. Um, so again, it's just time to restart and get those changes embedded. All right, great. So guys, we've done the, the BIOS settings. Uh, We've now done the Windows settings for mining and we've restarted. So, um, look, I'll just do what I personally like to do here. Um, I am going to install Chrome. Um, so, if we just open up Edge first. Um, yeah, go away. Um, and we'll just look for. Chrome, good Chrome, yep. Done our Chrome, so we get that in. I'm 
just find Chrome just with um, the apps, nice hash, just uh, just preferable for me. Um, so that's kind of uh, one of the initial things to do. Uh, so we get that in. Another app that we will download then is uh, GPUZ um, from Tech Power Up, um, and also HW Info, which is are two good kind of monitoring tools to check um, your rig and temperatures and things like that. So, so, so we'll, we'll do them shortly. Awesome. So in Chrome, that's great. Um, yeah, we'll come out there next. We'll just close that. We'll Chrome, we'll get rid of Microsoft Edge. Happy days. We'll add that to... Um, pin to the start and also um, pin to taskbar great so up and running so what we'll do we'll come in here and we will download GPU Z um, from tech power up so you can see here just in the thing you get lots of really good um, sort of stats um, and and you can see the sensors and things like that so it's um no, to be honest you can download either the, the gpu z or the hw info so um to be honest one's probably enough um so yeah, just download this um, this literally takes a minute to, to install it's really good uh, Uh, like, yep, yeah, so we'll have a shortcut, happy days. Yep, yep, install, yep, bop, bop, bop. and finish. Brilliant. Nice, so you can sort of see it's got the um, 1660 super there for us and plenty of information. Uh, you can look at this overall sensor as well. So the GPU clock, hotspot, we're obviously not mining at the moment, so we've got nice low temperatures. Um, it's actually quite good to have this open when you're doing overclocking as well. So um, quite handy to have if you've got your afterburner um, with this open just to sort of correlate, make sure you're seeing the right things. So uh, yeah, so good software to have. Um, so yeah, so like next thing I'm gonna do is um, install NiceHash. And yeah, like so. And just going back to where we were earlier, um, we've got the single um, 1660 super on there. So, so probably what I'm going to do today, I'm probably going to add another 1660 super in the um, the other X16 slot, or I might just just put on a riser. I'm just going to run a couple cards overnight, make sure the rig's stable before we start. Um, well, next um, stage is to build a to build a frame, uh, which we'll be doing tomorrow, and then we want to load it up with. Um, several more or as many GPUs as we can so it's um, try and earn that money so it's um, yeah cool so guys thanks for watching so far um, I, th I think at this stage I will leave um, you know uh, setting up nice hash as a, as a separate video and we will um, come back um, probably tomorrow and update how the, the rig is going and and how we're mining so yeah thanks for following guys really appreciate um, any comments, feedbacks, likes, and um, yeah, we'll we'll chat chat again soon. Thanks, thanks for watching.